And checking back in with Karen now, keeping a close eye on another severe storm warning. Yes, we've got one severe thunderstorm warning right now for Elbert County, but many of us dealing with thunderstorms this evening, sub severe for the most part. But I want to take you down to that warning here in Elbert County. Technically, the warning is both for Douglas and Elbert, but you can see that storm bracing off quickly. The biggest threat with this one here is going to be large hail, maybe about the size of a quarter or larger, so enough to put a dent in the car. That's in effect until 6 p.m. As we work our way a little farther north, there is a stream of storms here, but right now sub severe. So we're not dealing with large hail or damaging winds, anything like that, but perhaps just some small hail coming out of these storms streaming from southern uh, Jefferson County and racing off to the east around Parker. North we go, also scattered thunderstorms here. Larimer County dealing with some hail earlier on, maybe about an hour or so ago we had some large hail uh, west of Fort Collins, and now those storms are slowly starting to taper, weaken a little bit. As as they drift off to the south and east from Loveland to Greeley, Gilcrest, you're up next to see some locally heavy rainfall or briefly heavy rainfall and also some lightning. We're still going to deal with these storms for the next couple of hours. I think you can see that stream back off to the west and uh, so they'll be kind of hit and miss off and on, but especially the northern half of the state for the next several hours. Temperature wise, boy, we were stuck in the clouds today along the front range. Northern half of Colorado really kept our temperatures down right now. We're only at 68 degrees at Denver International Airport 60s. It's like a hint of fall out there and we had it all day. Those clouds really held temperatures back. It's 53 right now in Estes Park, but look at this as you work your way west where there was much more sun today, 70s, 80s, even still sitting at 97 in Grand Junction, cooking there. The temperature change is remarkable. From this time yesterday, we're about 15 to 20 degrees cooler right up and down the I-25 corridor all the way down to Trinidad, about 15 degrees colder right now than this time yesterday. So it's a big change between the clouds and a cold front that came through last night. That's why it was a bit chillier. Tonight, we'll dip back into the 50s, right around 57 in downtown Denver. We'll keep those evening storms in the cards and then slowly start to clear overnight. Give it till about 10 or 11 o'clock and then the storms will dwindle and the skies start to clear at last. Tomorrow, I do think we'll start with sun, so we'll get rid of these clouds, pop back into the 80s, and once again, the risk for thunderstorms will fire up just as we heat up, especially for eastern Colorado. The risk of severe weather, it's back. So maybe a few of these thunderstorms again getting a little feisty with large hail and locally damaging winds. In the Denver metro area, we're on a, about a one out of five on the scale for severe weather, but the farther east you go, there is a greater risk around Lyman, Fort Morgan, Burlington, uh, greater chance to see those strong winds and large hail. Here's the timing of it. So we're at noon tomorrow. Most of us are dry minus a stray shower in the northern Rockies. And then by around two or three o'clock, notice how the storms start to fire up. They race east and again, some will contain some damaging winds and locally large hail. So something to be aware of and ready to seek shelter from come tomorrow. In our super seven day forecast, we start to warm up up to the 80s tomorrow and Tuesday. But hey, I like the look of the drying trend, don't you, Kelly? Not as much rain in the picture by midweek, which mm -hmm. is uh, something we could maybe, you know, take a little break from. We've sure. been dealing with these afternoon storms day right. after day. Uh, it does come with a trade-off, though. We go back to the 90s by midweek. Right. At least we're not in a drought right now. Exactly. Thank you, Karen. <laughs>